Hello guys and welcome to another video. I hope everyone is great and ready to watch how I made this angular logo with some animation. Uh, today we're gonna have only three classes inside the class box, so it's going to be a pretty, a pretty easy how to pure CSS that. I have the regular class box that I'm using all the time, and then I have predefined some colors. And I'm using hex and not RGB or RGBA or something like this. So I think we're ready to start writing our code inside the HTML. The first class is going to have the name left, the second one will be the right, and the third one will be named letter, and it will include the letter A for Angular. Now I'm going to start writing my class right. Right and left classes are going to be almost the same. You can define uh, how you want to be your design. Maybe you only want um, one part. You can do it uh, like a whole thing. But since I'm using uh, a little different color, I'm going to use two different classes. Now I'm using the Clippy tool. Clippy tool helps you make some shapes pretty much uh, like very very easy. I'm going to do the left part, but no, I think I need the right one. Okay, here I copy pasted um, the right part, and I'm giving the ZDX one minus one because then I'm going to have in the top the letter A. This is not the only way that you can design this project. For example, you could have 1 and then the letter A could have a ZDX of 2. One more time for the Clippy tool. Also, uh, the link for the Clippy tool will be in the description box, as the code also will be in the description box, so you can check it out either in CodePen or in GitHub. For the letter, I'm using font size 30 v mean, and this is pretty similar to pixels or EM, but it's nicer when you have a big screen and then you have a small screen, so it's like a responsive. My color will be white, and you need a text align of center because you want it to be in center. Great, let's start writing uh, the animations now. I'm going to have two animations, the right part and the left part, and I'm going to have for 0, 50 and 100%. And now inside I'm going to have a color, and I'm going to start with a background color, and then the transform will have a skew, 0 and 0. 0 is degrees, it's like um, X and Y. So now I'm going to have 45 degrees and 45 degrees. And in the end, in 100%, which is actually our time, again I'm going to have my skew of 0 and 0. For the left part, I want exactly the same, except from the 50% skew, I'm going to have minus 45 degrees and minus 45. And again, this is for our, um, for our degrees.